We're vlogging, Jem. How you doing, folks? Uh, off to the accountants this morning. It's a stressful morning because Jem has managed to lose the password for the accounting program. But it's my fault. So let's go, eh, hey, love? Look at the smile on her face. <gasps> All right, I told you it was my fault. All right, come on then, smiler, let's go. <laughs> Good morning, young man. Oh, my jelly beans up for you. Oh, is that what you call them? It's a bit early for that, buddy. Oh, yeah. Right, guys, we've done the accountants. Excuse me, I'm in a rush now, so I'm just going to talk while I'm putting my belt on and setting off. So, we've been to the accountants this morning, and I've spent the rest of the day designing brewery tanks. So, I will show you what these designs are going to be when I get a little bit closer. But I'm going to shoot across to Alan Mossgroves in Worksop where I went yesterday and I'm going to have, just have a look around their unit. I don't think I'll be able to take you with because they said they're very busy and they're rushed. But I managed to worm my way in to go and have a look at the capacity of their rollers to see if they can roll me some new tanks. Uh, because I just don't think I'm going to be held over a barrel buying my old stuff back if I don't need that size and I want to get brewing you know right sorted they can roll the steel they can roll the angle they can do everything I need and he sounds like a right down to earth chap as well and Porter in the office tip top so we may get some fabrication started sooner rather than later yes I did it again alright these are just a few of the boxes of screws there are more so one of the main reasons I've come here today is to pick up some paperwork which has all of the tank designs from when I built the breweries up at IVB. So I'm going to take those sketches home. As you see I've visited the fabricator, they're able to do what I want to do. I want to build several tanks about this size. This is 400 litre. I might go a little bit bigger depending on the dimensions of the steel that I'm going to use. But that's what we're going to focus on for the rest of the day. Right, so I'm here peeling potatoes again, uh, but yeah, just quickly about the uh, fabrication of the new brewery. I could wait until the old tanks become available and buy them off the liquidator, but considering what I know now, I probably would not go down the route of buying tanks from Polsonelli, the steel's too thin. If they seem to corrode, I might buy them and they've already corroded. They could have been left with caustic in the bottom for a whole, almost a year as far as I know and that would absolutely knacker them up. So I think a cutting of the losses is in order. Having spoken to the guys at Mossgroves, I think we'll be able to put some tanks together relatively cheaply and they are ironically going to be the same size as the tank that I picked up from Derby the other day and of course the temptation's there to go bigger than what I actually need but a 500 litre brewery as it stands now is going to be more than enough to get us off the ground so I just have to not be greedy we have to walk before we can run as the old adage I think that's right isn't it so that is the plan
well there we are, you just saw me put together some models of tanks. Now that is kind of an interesting little time lapsey kind of thing I've got going for you, but I understand that probably 50% of the people who are watching this vlog aren't necessarily interested in the ins and outs of geometry and calculations that go into making a brewing tank. So to save your blushes and mine, I've decided to split this video and today's vlog will end here to prevent anybody being excessively bored and I will upload the rest of it which is a good 18 minutes extra as an unlisted video so if you're interested in how I put together the mathematics, the design, uh, calculated the steel I required or do require and this is only uh, you know, we're just throwing it out there. This, this is concept stage. It might come back and I might alter it. But if you'd like to know the ins and outs behind it and why I made the models, then directly below this video, I have left a link to an unlisted video and you'll be able to go and watch it there. So it's just for you folks who are interested and everybody else on the channel. Well, I will see you tomorrow for the vlog as normal. It's been a tough one today because I have had to concentrate on numbers. It's been a numbers game and it's boring, right? So, we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.